Hello everyone, my name is Allie Mack and I'm the volunteer coordinator at the North County Aquarium at Pine Hill Shores. Clearly I'm not at the aquarium, I am teleworking and social distancing to make sure everybody's safe. But you can also see that I'm in a pillow cave that is related to our book, our story time for today, Journey Through the Pillow Cave. So you guys can make your own after we're done with the story. So it is by Barnaby Stew, written and given permission by Barnaby Stew. Journey Through the Pillow Cave. In my room, there are toys and things, funny books, and magic rings. But one small thing that's the best of all is a stack of pillows by the wall. Why, you might ask, is this, is this thing great? Because, look closely, it's a secret gate. My name is Annabelle, and this is Clyde. Prepare yourself for a magic ride. If you have imagination, and you're also brave, adventure awaits in the pillow cave. With the light to show the way, we begin exploring. Deep underground, where, ca where cave bats are snoring. Yeah, one, two three cave bats. Take a look way up high. Glowworms shine like a starlit sky. Entering the rainforest, we feel quite small, overlooking a thundering waterfall. See the animals, see the trees. We swing through the air just like monkeys. And then we reach a mountaintop where lava flows and bubbles pop. It's a volcano. We must escape the heat before the rocks burn up our feet. They're parasailing off the island. We dive into the ocean and swim with pleasure among sea stars, fish, and sunken treasure. The clam and octopus dance in turn. Wait, the water is starting to churn. Oh no. Oh no, they're going around circles. What's gonna happen? It looks like our pillows have all fallen down. But oh, don't worry, no need to frown. Pretending is fun and easy to do. We'll make a new cave and so can you. Right, Holly? I urge you all to make your own your own pillow cape, just like I did, using pillows and sheets and maybe even a little help from a table. Thank you all for watching. Bye!